Welcome to this new video on my DIY remote control series. In this new video I'm showing the implementation of the 8 tracks and with this uh, I'm fulfilling the Mackie control protocol specification. Implementing the 8 tracks not only gives me the possibility to control of course 8 tracks and in group of 8 whatever number of tracks you have in your project uh, but it provides me also the possibility to control uh, uh, all the features uh, available in the various layer provided by the Mackie protocol. We will see in a moment what I mean uh, working on the EQ, the very same EQ uh, that we've seen uh, in the previous video. Uh, I have added three new tracks to my project, acoustic guitar tracks, in order to have eight and say fully uh, exploit the demoing of the surface. Uh, uh, so let's play. As you can see everything is working very well and you will see in a moment uh, also the registration and execution uh, there you go of simultaneous uh, uh, automation uh, on, on various track uh, is working very well so let's stop for a moment let's take the EQ I have selected the sixth track here uh, and uh, and so the EQ that you are seeing is about the sixth track. Uh, this is an acoustic guitar track, so I have already set a quite uh, strong EQing. Let's switch to the layer of EQ. So now I'm on the EQ. And so now finally I can control all the four bandwidths in the EQ for cut, position, and the first one for cut and position. Of course, I can finally enable also the second and the third. There you go for cut position, cut and position and the Q. So the shape of the slope. Um, another very interesting feature. Let me switch off the second and third bandwidth, which I don't need. Um, Another very interesting feature that is finally available uh, with the 8 tracks implementation, with the 8 channel implementation, sorry, is the so called flip. Uh, matter of fact, the uh, V pot that you see here have uh, in the Mackie protocol a uh, um, um, resolution of 7 bit. So you have available 127 steps in order to control whatever you are controlling, in this case, uh, the EQ. Uh, where with the slider you have a resolution of 14 bits so you have available 16,383 I guess steps uh, in order to control uh, the track um, uh, point is that resolution is much higher with the flip functionality you can flip the V pot with, with, the, with the sliders uh, in order to have a finer resolution and a finer control uh, into the parameter that you are controlling in a given moment. Again, in this moment, the uh, EQ. So if I flip, as you can see, the system flip, and now uh, I can control, let me switch off the automation, sorry. I can control uh, the uh, slider with the report, as you can see, but most importantly, I can control the EQ with a slider with a very very nice uh, uh, control and resolution. Um, the same if I switch back to the uh, uh, pump pot. So again with the V pot I control the slider and with the slider I control the pump pot functionality. There you go. And then flip back, you flip it. Uh, to the to the original control uh, Everything is working very well as I said in the other video and I have to say that even adding the missing channels uh, uh, Still everything is very stable and well working. I have to say that the decision of using the UART uh, To connect all the channels to the uh, control board uh, uh, Was a good decision. Of course. I mean there is an issue as I have already mentioned in the previous video related to the number of uh, peripheral available uh, on this uh, uh, microcontroller uh, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm quite positive that I will uh, uh, resolve it uh, easily. 
Next step is to work on the, uh, the chassis, if you, if you like, of the uh, 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 surface. Uh, I don't bother for the moment uh, uh, about the uh, um, display. If you uh, uh, have seen in the previous video, uh, uh, I already know that this is working very well, so uh, I don't care to implement it immediately. I prefer to work on the chassis and then uh, add the uh, display uh, at the very end. Uh, that's it. Uh, as usual, if you like my, my work, uh, uh, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. For me, it means a lot. Uh, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.